सो हे काय दिस इज राहुल यार अँड इन टुडे इज व्हिडिओ वी आर गोईंग टू टॉक अबाउट द अनऑफिशियल वे टू यूज बार्ड ए पी आय सो आर लॉट ऑफ डेव्हलपर्स वर रिक्वेस्टिंग टू मी ऑन लिंक्ड इन अबाउट वी आर नॉट गेटिंग द ए पी आय की फ्रॉम गुगल मीन्स दे हॅव अप्लाय टू द मेकर सूट वेट लिस्ट अँड दे आर स्टील नॉट गेटिंग द ए पी आय टू यूज फ्रॉम द बार्ड अँड आय कॅन अंडरस्टँड द पेन इनिशियली आय डिडंट गेट दॅट for for 2 to 3 days i waited for a week and i managed to go get that but some of you might not have managed to get that so i decided to make a video on that too so that this video is a unofficial way to help you to use bard api so so let's talk about it guys this is a github repository this is one of the amazing github repository i can say and this guy at ds daniel park he has posted a, an amazing way to use bard api on your local system and you can use that you can read this documentation i will be providing its link in the description you can use that see it has gone to 4000 almost 4000 starts in two weeks or something so that's pretty cool stuff and he has provided an absolutely amazing documentation about how to use that if you are not watching this video and just following this documentation then also you can use it in your local system but if you are watching this video just try to watch it till the end and i will also be teaching you and if then also you are not able to understand all right no worries i am here to help you out so all right so let's quickly go to our google colab so all right guys we have opened our google colab and one more thing i have already written the code over here uh, in my google just because to avoid any kind of error that you might face so to avoid that i have already taken down kind of errors and now i am presenting you the fine working code with you all so this this is how uh, i will be also providing you the link of this code as well so you can just copy that code and run on your run on your colab and you will be able to use bard api in your system without the maker suit api okay so first is this step pip install and then these are the steps that i have just copy and pasted let me show you okay pip install bard api and then cloning this repository i have followed these two steps that is pretty simple and then this so first three steps are pretty simple and then you have to use this step so okay this step is pretty important and you need to work on that and you need to take care of that so what is this step is just to go on open your bard account so if you don't have bard account or you are not using just create one and suppose this is my account bard.google.com just click f12 or you can click on right click and inspect button now click on this application button so one more thing uh, let me show you if you are getting it in this manner on the right side just click here and create an on down side shift it will get shifted here and okay so now it will open your bard.google.com and click on cookies yeah and over here there are three ids okay so one is this secure one psid cc and one psid ts and one p sid these are your three ids just copy these and i will be providing you this code this is a bit different from the git repo that is over here uh, he has said to use this token uh, just don't use that it is giving a bit of error so for that you can use this code of mine that i have arranged from somewhere else so you can use that okay so i have copy pasted it in the token that is one psid okay now you have to use look here it is written one psid ts so let's go on one psid ts and select it from bottom control c and go over here and paste it now the third one uh -huh. one psid cc so you can take it over here and control c and paste okay so let's try to run it so okay you can see that it has authenticated our token so that's pretty cool now let's go on okay nothing no need to go anywhere i actually used it for ocr that not be the case for you if you are using it just for the sake of using api so we, all right you we have done till here and see i have not missed any of the steps from the github account and i have just changed this step let me show you 
on github is happening yeah yeah these three steps i have followed then authentication i have used that but instead of using just a single line of that token i have used a complete different code over here you can use you have to use this code to avoid any kind of errors or if you are getting code from somewhere else or at that is running for you that's completely fine so now let's just go on and test our bard let me just copy this code and token we have to not use token because we have already authenticated that and bar dot get answer okay let me clear this and let me ask it what is bard okay so let's check it out so look guys we have gotten a response from that as a language model i am unable to assist you with that okay so that's not an issue let's try out something else okay what is large language model i think it must know about it and it should provide us some response it might happen that you might not get response for something uh, because they might be out of range okay so look that's pretty amazing stuff and it is it has given and so amazing response large language model ai algorithm and almost written around hundreds of lines about that yes, so such an amazing response from google bart and that too without using the maker suit api uh, so it was uh, just an unofficial way to help you out and you can use that in your college projects or if you are someone who are pretty excited to use bart api so you can try this way and uh, that is a pretty authentic way and one more thing you will be able to use this token uh, that is a cookies token so that gets refresh in almost every 15 to 20 minutes so you must need to again repeat the process that i told you from that i told you in this video only about how to use how to copy the code and this uh, let me show you these these ids of secure one ps id etc from your bard account and paste it over here so you have to follow these steps again about around 15 to 20 seconds you will automatically you will get error if your response is not being generated you will automatically get error and you will understand okay so now i have to refresh it again so that's how it will work so since it's an unofficial way so it also have its demerits so that was one of those and if you want to continue using it for long long hours then just apply for the maker suit api that will work without any interruptions and you can use that and play around with it and try to make some useful products so all right guys that was all from my side for you today i hope you liked the video and please follow me on socials if you like my videos and subscribe to the channel and i will be catching in the next video till then goodbye